There's a ton of misunderstanding about English versus American golden retrievers. But here's the truth. They're both golden retrievers that descended from the same original goldens over 150 years ago. However, since then, a few different styles of goldens have evolved in different regions. In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about English versus American golden retrievers. But before we get into the differences between these two types of goldens, it's important to know why we're even having this discussion in the first place. Isn't a golden retriever a golden retriever no matter where it comes from? Well, sort of. In the mid-1800s, golden retrievers were first bred in Scotland by crossing a tweed water spaniel and a wavy-coated retriever. Sir Dudley Marchbanks created the breed to help him hunt birds. Obviously, they made it over here to America, but then some differences started to evolve. We'll cover those in a second, but let's talk about why they evolved. Here are three main reasons. The first is the fact that North America and Europe are different continents separated by a big ocean. This caused dogs on these continents to mostly breed with just each other. This is especially because this started in the 1800s and they were a six week boat ride apart. The second reason is that the American Kennel Club, also known as the AKC, and the Kennel Club, which is the UK's Kennel Club, actually have slightly different breed standards. So breeders trying to follow these standards are actually prioritizing different traits. And finally, different qualities are preferred by breeders who breed for different purposes. For example, dogs bred for hunting or for the show ring are going to be very different. So yes, a golden retriever is a golden retriever. But depending on where it comes from and what the breeder's purpose was, you will find differences between them. However, what those differences are and how pronounced they are depends on who you ask. If you ask an English cream golden retriever breeder, they'll tell you that English creams are healthier and calmer. If you ask the Golden Retriever Club of America, they'll tell you that the term English cream golden retriever is a marketing ploy and goldens are all the same breed. And to make things even more confusing, most English golden retrievers aren't even from England. Most of the golden retrievers we call English creams in America were actually imported from countries like Denmark, France, Ukraine, Hungary, and Spain. Later in this video, we'll talk more about these differences, but here's something to keep in mind. If a breeder breeds happy and healthy dogs, then they'll likely produce happy and healthy puppies. So choosing a breeder is your most important decision. On the flip side, there are breeders of all breeds and types out there looking to make a quick buck. They don't care about you, the breed, or their puppies. So be sure to do your research and avoid them. Now, let's get into some of the similarities between these two styles of goldens, then we'll talk about some of the differences. First up is shedding. Golden retrievers of all shapes, sizes, and colors shed, a lot. If you want a golden, or really any other type of dog, you'll need to get used to shedding. There's a thin layer of golden fur covering just about everything in my house. But if you ask me, or any other golden retriever owner, that's a low price to pay for the love and joy of owning a golden retriever. Next up is temperament. All golden retrievers are loving, loyal, and sweet dogs, no matter where they come from or what they're bred for. The AKC describes them as friendly, reliable, and trustworthy, while the Kennel Club describes them as kindly, friendly, and confident. When it comes to getting a family pet, it's tough to beat a golden retriever. Now let's talk intelligence. According to Dr. Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, golden retrievers are the fourth smartest dog breed. He tested 138 breeds, so that's pretty impressive. He didn't specify whether he tested an English or an American golden retriever though, so we'll just assume that they're both pretty smart. Which leads us to the next similarity, trainability. Golden retrievers are usually easy to train because they're intelligent, they love pleasing humans, and most important, they love treats. They enjoy working with people and love the challenge of learning new things. They respond best to positive reinforcement, so be sure to bring the treats, toys, and praise when you're training your golden. And speaking of their love for treats, here's another thing English and American golden retrievers have in common. They like to eat. All golden retrievers love food. It's cute when they're puppies because they go absolutely nuts for food. They'll run around in circles and jump up and down. But the bad news is that goldens do have a tendency to become obese when they're adults if they're given too much food. They usually won't turn down any food that you give them, so it's up to you to keep them at a healthy weight. Obesity can lead to other health issues like joint and heart problems, 
So be sure to talk to your vet about how much to feed them. Before we move on, here's a question for you. What's your favorite thing about golden retrievers? Let us know down in the comments. Now, let's get to the juicy part, the differences between English and American golden retrievers. How pronounced these differences are depends on two things. One, who you ask, and two, who the dog's parents were. I've included studies when possible for these differences, but some of these are just trends that many people have noticed. And remember, these are generalities. Each dog is an individual, so take these differences with a grain of salt. First, let's talk about health. This is one of the biggest differences talked about between these two. According to one study, 60% of American golden retrievers will die from cancer, but less than 40% of European golden retrievers will die from cancer. Here's a quote from the article. Their genes are significantly different, which suggests the risk of cancer in American goldens is, in result, in part of a fairly recent gene mutation. I'll drop a link down in the description to a blog post that has links to all these studies. The next difference is their size. This is an interesting one because the AKC and the Kennel Club in the UK actually have different sizes in their breed standards. According to the AKC, here's how big golden retrievers should be. Males, 23 to 24 inches tall and 65 to 75 pounds. Females, 21 and a half to 22 and a half inches tall and 55 to 65 pounds. According to the Kennel Club, UK's version of the AKC, here's how big golden retrievers should be. Males 22 to 24 inches tall, and females 20 to 22 inches tall. Americans prefer taller goldens, while the English prefer shorter goldens. It's also interesting that weight is not noted in the English standard, but is noted in the American standard. This next difference is one that sounds like it might be a topic in a health magazine. Body shape. English golden retrievers are known for being shorter and stockier, while American golden retrievers are known for being slightly taller and lankier. English Goldens typically have blockier heads, with ears that sit a little lower than the American Goldens. American Goldens often have more of a sloping back, where their shoulders are a little taller than their hips. English Goldens have more of a straight back. Next up is the most obvious difference, color. When people in America think of English Golden Retrievers, they usually think of light gold or cream-colored dogs, hence the name English Cream Golden Retriever. Here's what the breed standards say about color. According to the AKC, golden retrievers should be rich, lustrous, golden of various shades. Predominant body color, which is either extremely pale or extremely dark, is undesirable. According to the Kennel Club, golden retrievers should be any shade of gold or cream, neither red nor mahogany. So in America, they prefer dogs that are actually gold, while in England, they accept gold or cream-colored dogs. Here's a picture of Daniel, the golden retriever who won the sporting group at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, which is an American show in 2020. And here's a picture of the 2019 winner at Crufts, which is an international dog show held in England. You can see that the dog who won the sporting group in America is much darker than the one that won the sporting group in England. The next difference is one that can actually affect your lifestyle a lot, so it's one to take into careful consideration. Energy levels. Many English golden retriever breeders say that English creams are calmer than their American counterparts. I don't personally have experience with owning an English golden, but I will tell you that my two-year-old American golden retriever, Oliver, is one of the most crazy and energetic dogs I've ever met. Another thing to consider when getting a golden retriever and thinking about their energy levels is whether they were bred for show or field. Typically, dogs bred to work in the field have more energy than those bred to trot around a show ring. Now let's talk about a difference that's a little bit of a touchy subject. Price. With puppies, you usually get what you pay for. English golden retrievers are often more expensive than the American golden retrievers. If you were to ask the Golden Retriever Club of America why that is, they'd probably tell you it's because English cream is a fancy marketing term that allows them to charge more but there are actually a lot of factors that go into price. Are the breeders feeding their dogs Walmart dog food or high quality dog food? Are they spending time socializing them and preparing them for life with you? Or are they already thinking about the next litter when their pups are born? No matter what style of golden you get, you'll need to scope out the breeder to see what they're really about. After all these differences and similarities, you're left with this question, which type of golden retriever is better for you? To answer it, you need to ask yourself why you want a golden retriever in the first place. Do you want a hunting partner? Do you want to compete in dog shows? Do you want to compete in dog sports? 
or do you just want a family companion? Whatever type of dog is best for you and your family, try to get a dog that was bred for it. If you're looking to be competitive in the field or the show ring, then you might want to carefully choose a breeder that breeds dogs specifically for this purpose. But if you're looking for a family pet, you can either rescue a golden or get one from a breeder that breeds goldens for family companions. Since this is such an important decision, I'll drop a link in the description to a blog post that can help you find a good breeder. What type of golden retriever do you have? Let me know down in the comments. This next video about male versus female golden retrievers is another topic with some surprising differences you probably didn't know. All right, thank you for watching, and remember, never take your golden retriever for granted and always check your poop bags for holes.